Okay, so hello everybody. Today we're gonna open one box of this um, Indonesian booster box. It is legit uh, Indonesian cards. Um, they were released in Indonesia earlier this month, I think 6 August. Um, so in Indonesia, they've always played the Pokemon cards in English, I think, but I, I guess the market was big enough for them to release in their language. So I it's legal to play the Indonesian Bahasa Indonesian uh, cards. So let's just look at the box for a bit while I while I unpack. Uh, rather take off the shrink wrap. It comes in two versions. Uh, it comes in two designs. One is this Charizard one, and the other one I didn't buy it was a uh, Snorlax in Eevee version. So it says Matahari and Bulan. I guess it just means sun and moon. Hantaman per Pertama. Game Katu Koleski. Trading card game. So on the side, um, it shows some of the cards you can get. So you have like the Rescue Stretcher, Guzma, Psyduck, Dragon Knight, Tapu Koko GX, Ho-Oh. I guess they don't really change the English names of the Pokemon. Unless it's something like Rescue Stretcher, then they explain it in in uh, Indonesian. So one pack comes with six cards and in one box there's 20 packs. It's basically what it says. And it's uh, numbered AS1A. Okay, so let's just open this. I only bought one box of this. Um, it's a guy who was traveling to Singapore and he took orders for them. So as you can see, the design of the box, the way that the box is packaged is like the Japanese booster boxes, uh, special mini set booster boxes. Same, quite similar to the ultra shiny one that I showed in the last video. This is like Japanese um, mini set boxes. So the, the, the packaging is, all, is the same. And then they will show you what cards you can get in the set. So you get Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and you can just look at it. So it has 150, uh, 150 cards. I guess not including secret rares. I'm not sure whether there are any secret rares. So let's look at the packs. Interesting, they're really thin. Okay. They look really good, like the the quality of the print is really good. This Ah, okay. Over here says it's five types of energy. Seventy five types of commons, forty six types of um uncommon, eighteen rares and 11 GXs and unknown amounts of uh, secret rare and hyper rare okay so usually you get one energy out of five i'm guessing and then five cards belong to the common uncommon rare regular rare secret rare and hyper rare so here shows you like the importer's name and stuff like that on this side there's an Indonesian portal that you can log, you can go on to, to check out more stuff. For sale Indonesia only, and oh, it's made in Japan. So it's, yeah, they have the Japanese Wapongi Hills Maru Tower uh, address right here for the Pokemon Company Japan. Barcode 997. Is barcode 997? No, it's not. Do they have this? They don't have the double double barcode here. Hmm. Interesting. So let's just take these packs out. How many do you think we should open today? Half? They are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, okay, so twenty is correct. We are going to open half and half later in another video, I guess. Okay. I'm excited to see whether we get any secret rares. 
Okay, so they tear open exactly like the Japanese cards. And interestingly, they have the English back, the blue back, but um, as I hear, the front looks exactly like the Japanese ones. It feels, the texture feels like the Japanese ones as well, not the English ones. Uh, Rotom decks. So it's written in like uh, Indonesian grammar, as you realize, Dex Rotom instead of Rotom Dex. Gumi. Litwick, Simisach, and uh, Energy, and Dragonite. Okay, so Dragonite is the regular rare here. And then we have Energy, Common, 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 Uncommon. So, uh, okay, so I think it's first two cards at the back. I really hate having energy cards. Okay, let's try two cards. Did I get it? Oh no, okay, sorry, I spoiled it for everyone. We got the um, hollow. Zarina. And then Furra Ligator. Totodao. Ligant. And Pikachu. An energy card. Okay. Execute. Charmander. Oh, nice. I've never seen this art before. And because I don't collect, I haven't started collecting cards since the earlier. Sun and Moon, so I'm not that familiar. Malo. And the uncommon is uh, Alomola. Right, so I guess I'm just gonna keep cards that I want to keep in this pile and the cards that I don't want in this pile because there's really no point keeping any of those. Nobody's gonna buy them. I bought this just for like novelty's sake. Okay, Senshu. Alolan Jodu, Wishy Washy, Energy. The uncommon is Helio Lisk, and the rare is Gardos. Nice. So they follow the uh, design of the Japanese cards very closely, like A for the rotation, and the rarity follows the Japanese cards as well. So this would be legal at Wolves. You can play these cards at Wolves, I guess. Next month, I'm going to Thailand, so I'm going to buy some Thai cards as well to open. But Thai cards are very much more expensive, strangely. Uh, these Indonesian cards, they cost 28 Sing dollars a box like that. So it's quite affordable. That's why I decided to purchase a box. Just for fun. Just to see what's in that. What was so cute? I have seen this art before, um, but I cannot remember which. Team up, maybe? Tentacle. Lampert. Energy. Energy. Um, I cannot remember. Recycle energy or some something like that. And polywall. So it's only it has one more card than the Japanese counterparts. Um because it has one energy card. But I really don't think they need those. You can they can use the regular English energy cards, chandelier and Kusuma. Okay. We haven't hit any GXs yet. So we're not sure whether it's guaranteed GXs like the Japanese sets. Oops, I think we saw our hollow is a Vika Volt. So this Vika Volt, we got this in um, the Black Star promo. For. Which set? Let me see.
Is it the same? It's not the same. Okay, sorry. But it will be the same. So we got how many hot we got so many hollows but no GXs yet. I really like the Charizard on the box. Grabin, Star You, Tew. Oh nice. Magi, Azumarill, and then Red Candy. So I'm Singaporean, but um, because I'm I'm ethnically Chinese, I don't I I cannot understand any kind of any Malay. Very very limited Malay. That's uh conversational Malay, not even much of it. It's from what I learned from friends. So I cannot read much of this. I'm not trained. I've never learned the language. Oh, nice, our first GX. So I can't really read much of that. Yeah, we got Laurentis, regular rare. So GXs are um, regular rares, and this is just rare. Sindiri. Hmm. I think those 10 packs went by so quickly, so I guess we're gonna open this 10 in the same breath. Let me. Continue. That's the thing about opening Pokemon cat packs. You're just like, sometimes I want to prolong the uh, pleasure of opening packs, but they go by so quickly that you don't really you're just like, okay, let's just open more. Go duck. Book it Brooklet. So it just means Brooklet Hill. Uh, or Mount Brooklet. Yeah, because Book it means uh, mountain. So name places like Book it. Um, yeah, we, we do know what it means. Because it's like many places in the region uses words like these, so we know. But it's not, we can't, me as a Chinese, I think, an ethnically Chinese person, I can't understand like proper sentences in Malay and Indonesian. Malay and Indonesian, like the Malay used in Malaysia and the Indonesian and the Bahasa uh, Indonesia used in Indonesia is quite similar but uh, some words are different they use the same vocabulary but the grammar is different okay potion tapu fini hollow we've got quite a bit of hollows actually we've got quite a bit of hollows Yeah, drum pie is a hollow. We've got quite a bit of hollows, which is nice. And then we've got one. So let's put that in the front where you can see it. Yeah. Sligo. Pincel. Gumi. Energy. I guess this just means basic. <gasps> oh, nice. Our first. Our first rainbow rare. Lurentis GX. Look what we got. Double cheeseburger. I don't think we're gonna get a full art though. I'm never that lucky. Let's put this to the side. So we've got a... Uh, a hyper rare which is... um Secret rare. Hyper rare, secret rare. It's quite centered, left to right. But not so much top to bottom as you can see. There's more space here than here. But the edges are so clean. This is a new printer or something, maybe. But the front looks very centered. Very nice. At this point, I'm starting to wonder about pull rates, whether because since they're printed by Japan, 
I'm just wondering whether they are having the same pool rates. Heartful Mantis. Growlithe. Oh, what's this? I've never seen this before. I, I literally do not know what this is. Asuran Si Kulamahan. Aquanid. In like the bus. So I've seen all this. We should have been we should have seen all these artworks before. Across Sun and Moon. Pokemon ball. Bola just means ball. So I'm gonna put that in my keep deck. Oh, Lana. Nice! Lapras GX. Sandiri. Okay, last, third last pack. Third last pack. We only got two packs left here. Shelder, Petil, Heliopal, Volcorana, <laughs> another Vika Volt. So that's a that's a double up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six hollows and three GX. No trainer rest. Alolan Raichu, nice. Um, this is from the the Alolan Raichu pin box. They have this card. Tapu Fini has a non hollow version. Oh, cool! I did not know that. Aqua Patch. Last pack. Shall we smell it? And then do the blow thing. <laughs> Are we gonna get something special in it? We don't know. But let's just see. Um I chose this box art because there's Charizard on it. Just just that that was the only reason why I did it. Okay, I see something shiny, but I think it's a hollow. Magic cup. Botop, Hathapi, Energy, Venusaur, followed by an Incin Incineroar Hollow. So the Venusaur has two arts, which I think this is much cuter than this. But of course you would choose the one that has the ability though. So there's quite a number of cards that I want to keep from this set, namely the Evolution Line, Raichu's always a good one, uh, Dratini, I, I am lacking the Dragonair, Charmeleon, Bulbasaur, so that's one Evolution Line, Gardos, oh yes, I have Charmander, which is nice, that, sh that means that there is a Char Lizard in the set, which we don't, we didn't pull. But I, unfortunately, I'm not going to buy any more of these cards because um, I don't think they'll be of much value here in the Singapore market. This is just uh, purely for collector's pleasure. Let's look at our hollow cards. Incineroar, Tapu Fini, Vicavolt. We've got two Vicavolts. There you go. Two Vika Volts, Drumpa, Chandelier, this one is really nice, somehow it's, the hollow is very nice, Zarina, so that is um, 7 hollow hits, 7 hollow hits, and then 
Our GX cards, we got three GXs, Laurentis, Lapras, and another Laurentis. Hollow, uh, Rainbow Rare. Very nice. So, uh, total 10 hits in a 20-pack box. Not too bad, I think. That's one, that's one in two, either getting a Hollow or a GX, which I think is not too bad. Let's verify the fact that they have five uh, types of energy. So it's the all it's all the basic as I can see from here. So one, two, three, four. There's only four types of energy though. As let's this. Although here it says like five types of energy. Which is strange. Um, I don't know. Bunch of bulk cards. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. To just let you see what goes into like foreign language cards. Recently I've been trying to find Chinese cards because um, because I'm, I'm Chinese right? I can read Chinese. But I found it. They haven't printed Chinese cards in a long, 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 long while. So we won't be expecting those in a long time. And we do open uh, Japanese cards from time to time. So next month, I'll be going to Thailand. I'll be buying one box of those. That costs a lot more. That's 120 or 130 dollars. Sing dollars cost almost, almost as much as an English booster box. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, uh, till the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.